A Summer's Day, A Prayer of St. G. September rain, the best of summer gone, and the new autumn not yet born. The odd, uneven time is here. It is curiously silent. The blank white dawns and glaring noons are gone. But look back upon a summer's day. The long days stretch into each other. The pause from school or work, everything happening at the same time to fortify the hours. This collection of weeks when anything were possible. The crickets feel it is their duty to warn us this will not last forever. And when the beautiful days when summer is changing to autumn come, the crickets spread the rumor of sadness and change. If it could only be like this always, always summer, time broken and days progress in an endless sequence of dead moments. It is rapture just to sit here in the silence, alone in the summer night, in the white splendor of moonshine the wind blowing down out of the pine woods. The things that trouble us seem now far away and unimportant. All that matters is the hum of bees, the chirp of birdsong, the sun gleaming on the edge of a blue wildflower. And in the distance, domesticity, the bleat of grazing sheep. The beauty staggering as of a world freshly made, the sunlight a benediction the caressing breezes, a thousand colors in a parched landscape, the days long and hot. Seas of undulating wheat stretch out to the horizon. To quiet people, these few months are a time when we are not required to be who everyone thinks we are. In each summer book, we are that person for a while. We feel that summer has taken us over, made us, made us someone different. Summers with a logic of their own, but with no agenda. Or if there is, it is a wistfulness. There are deep and pleasant shades which look upon wide prospects, stretched out beyond our imagination the prime and vigor of the year, all things glad and promising. It is easy to forget now how effervescent and free we feel these days, heroic, free, a person of promise. Finding also, it is not idleness to watch the clouds float across the sky, the water murmuring in our ear, days never to be forgotten, coming seldom within our soul and like the Lord, invisible, strengthful, nourishing, and that there is new life to be begun again. And like Camelot, if ever would I leave you, it wouldn't be in summer. Seeing you in summer, I never would go. So now it is summer, and I do see you. I shall never go. Amen.